welcome back to Site Tech in your Mountain Site Works training videos. In this video, I want to go along with the same lines as some of my other videos on the house layout. I am going to show you how to lay out a house out here all by yourself using property corners. And in this video, I'm going to do it as if you had a version of CAD. And I'm going to just say Trimble Business Center. If you have that and you have the CAD line work from the engineer, and you have property corners that you can actually establish as control points, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you now in Trimble Business Center how to look, take that line work, just line work, not elevated at this point, that's for another video, and those control points and uh, or property corners and make that and export that out. So in Trimble Business Center, what I've got is a blank project right here that I've started up. There's no calibration, nothing in here. I'm going to pull in the CAD line work from the engineer. So as soon as I bring in this line work, it's going to land, and it's going to land scaled. And as you see here, it's going to land on a zero and a zero on the grid, which is actually okay. You don't need to actually move this line work. It may put some of this in negatives, but it's not a big deal at all. What we're going to do at this point is bring in the actual house property corners PDF. So because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to use the PDF image in the background to create control points on the uh, actual property corners. And then I'm going to export this as DXF with those property corners and then be able to, in the field, reference it where I need it to be. So now that I've done that, I like to move this stuff to the side here. And now what I'm going to do is bring in my PDF. I'm just going to drag and drop it. Now you can see it's obviously not to scale or moved where it needs to be. So on the right side here at the top where the place image is, there is a couple options. This one right here is the geo reference image. So on the right side here, this is a lot like what you would do in the data collector now if you were to move it. But we're going to move it so that I can find these property corners you can see right here and here on the project. So I'm going to go to add and right off the bat for the pixel, it wants me to pick anything that I can reference to the line work. So I'm going to use this corner of the building. Then I'm going to move to the actual line work that I want it to move to. So I've done that for one. You can see that tagging line to pull it together. Now what I do is on the right side here, hit add one more time. And I'm going to pick one more. So I'm going to do the other corner of the front of the house. And I will go pick the line work that I want that to move to. So I've got two there that I want it to pull, and it'll scale and reference do all of that for me. So I hit Compute at the bottom right, and it moves it over. So now what you can do is basically go and make sure it referenced where you want it to be. If you want to tone down the color in the background on the left side here where you've got your geo-referenced image, you can click on it and then right-click, go to Properties, and then right here for transparency, you can put this on what you want. I usually go to 35 to kind of tone it down a little. So now as I zoom in, you can see the line work lands right on top of the actual PDF. Just kind of check a couple different areas here. Just to make sure that if I actually hit those control points, um, property corners, it's going to land this where I want it to. So it all lands perfectly. So... Now what I can do is I can see where the property corner one is based on the PDF and property corner here. All I need to do is create two control points on these um, as control points that we'll export as a CSV file and import in when we create the project. And that will help me reference to make sure that everything's going to scale right, that those property corners out on the back of curb, known, known points, are going to land my line work where it needs. So. In order to do this, at the top here on the left side, there's a CAD tab. There's a Create Point option right here. If you click on that, um, we're not going to dive too much into layers and business center stuff right now, but you can give it a layer if you need to. Here, I'll just leave it on points. This one right here, for the name, I'm going to go Prop Corner. And all I need to do is down here where the northing is, I'm going to click inside of that. And then I'm going to go on my PDF image, and I'm going to put my cursor right in the middle of that. Now, you can see on the right side right here, it gave me a northing and easting, and then an elevation that's asking for that. I am not worried about the elevation being um, at any specific elevation, so I'm going to just type a zero, and I'm going to hit add. So I've got a property corner right there. Now what I'm going to do is the exact same thing on this right side. I'm going to come in here, 
and I'm going to come up here and name it. We'll go property corner. And then for the northing, same thing, click in there and then just eyeball right in the center of that and hit zero for the elevation over here and then hit add. So I have that quickly just created two control points that if I turn off the image now, if I export all this, you can see how it's all scaled together. Line work is where it needs to be. Property corners will be where they need to be based on this image right here. So all I need to do is export this out. I come up here to the top left where I've got the blue export option. I'm just going to do export DXF because I don't have a surface here. So on the CAD tab, DXF, go ahead and click right there in that. And I'm going to export out this line work right here. All that, I'm going to highlight it all. And then I'm going to send it where it needs to go. So I'm going to come to my USB and I'm going to go to house layout right here. And I'm going to call this the uh, house layout line work and you can see it's already going to go as a DXF I hit save and then make sure you hit export on the bottom right here now the next thing I need is these corner points these actual property corners and I'm going to export those as a CSV file so now I go back up to my export tab and on the right side right here I'm going to do custom and right here where you got the PN, PL, all that, this is point, northing, easting, and elevation. So that's the one that I want right here. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to select these two control points. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back to my USB drive, house layout. And then we will give it a name, and we'll call it the house property corners. Same thing. Hit save, and make sure you hit export. So now we have what we need for points. If I can show you here, we've got our CSV file and our DXF. We are ready to go out in the field and set all this up. So now that we've exported out that CSV file on the DXF and we have the plan sheet also, let's go ahead and create a project and load this up and actually set up a project and calibrate to those control points. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and let, start up a project. So we'll call this the uh, house layout. Uh, we'll call it DXF, just so I can kind of keep it separate here. Lot 330, we'll hit next. So in here is where I'm gonna actually put my thumb drive in. So let's go ahead and put in my USB drive here in the bottom. And we're going to bring in the CSV file. This isn't the only place, but as I'm setting the site up, I like to do it. So right here where it says select control points, check that box. And then where it says CSV file, tap the gray to the side there. Go to your D drive and look for that file. It's the only one that I have here on this uh, thumb drive. So I'm going to select it. Go ahead and load that there. I don't have anything else on here to do. I'm going to go ahead and load up a uh, work order. So we'll call this the uh, layout and hit finish and then under design we will call this the uh, house lot 330 and i don't have a surface all i have is line work so i'm going to do the dxf which is the design line work check that box go and find my dxf and hit accept going to go ahead and finish that so that's my project work order and a design now that i've got my line work in there i can zoom in on it see my line work and i can see the two different control points right there i'm gonna pull my thumb drive out we are going to do a project calibration now to these control points let's go ahead and set up on my first property corner here i'm gonna set on that point right there level up now i'm going to go into my menu go project setup and go to project calibration I'm going to hit the plus symbol to start, just like you would if you were doing a normal calibration to control points. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit my property corner there. Hit select, bottom of quick release, 15 seconds. Go ahead and let it observe it. Now, while it's doing this, I'm going to explain, I'm only going to do a two-point calibration. Normally, when you do this process, you don't get residuals until you do the third point or more. I'm okay with that on this one. I'm just going for a good residual for um, uh, horizontal, if you will. My line work does not have any elevation in it, so I'm just going to do a two-point calibration. You can accept it with one, two, three, 15, whatever it is, and then I can go ahead and hit plus to go to the next one. 
Okay, so here's my next property corner. I'm gonna go ahead and set up just the same way. Face the same way in case your bubble is off a little bit. Level up there and go ahead and select the next one. I'm kind of forcing it, if you will. Gonna go ahead and hit start. All right, now that that's done, I don't have residuals. I'm gonna hit finish. It's gonna ask, do I wanna accept? Yes. It's going to warn me that three or more is better. It's okay. Calibration is complete. Now I am done. I basically used property corners to put my DXF line work out here where it needs to be. I can zoom in, see the project where I'm at. Now we can walk out there. And instead of having to use just the PDF image to, um, like I've done in my other videos, to lay this out where you're actually setting up over the, um, the actual image itself, now I have what looks like the image because I my DXF, I exported out all the, the grid lines. But if I go ahead and touch on that outer footing line right there, you can see I've got a footing edge and I can stake it just like I would normally be able to. I don't have any elevation, so there is no associated elevation. But now I can go ahead and do my house layout the way that I need to. Um, I can go ahead and set up on the corner right here. I could go ahead and paint out a point, lay out a stake, lay out offsets like this, two or three foot offsets, whatever it may be. I basically put this lot 33 house right here where I needed it to be off of the control, or excuse me, the uh, property corners right there. And I have all of my DXF line work for steps, garage, house, footings in the middle. Um, it's a little bit cleaner. This is if you have access to the CAD line work. Um, in, in CAD, in Business Center, we could have exported out um, a surface, which you can do also. Remember, my videos are intended to just get your, the ball rolling in your minds as to how to do this. But now I can stake that line. I could also use it as a reference line and actually still do a surface. So what I can do here is instead of staking the line, I can touch and hold on that line, that footing line, select it as a reference line, so I still have the ability to see how far away I am from it. What you gotta do is go into your menu, go down to settings and go to info bar panel here. And what you gotta do is for your panel or your bar, you gotta go set up the uh, reference, reference station, reference offset, and assign those to your bar right here. Then what you could do is create your own flat planes. I could do a level plane, I could shoot my own elevation, whatever you may be, create your own plane. There's so many different ways to use SiteWorks. There's so many different ways to use the tools that are in our hands. And these videos are intended to show you what SiteWorks can do between PDF images, bringing in the line work, calibrating to either a surveyor or calibrating your own calibration to project corners, you name it. Just remember this uh, This stuff is here for you to be able to make a lot of money on your own job site. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tickener Mountain on laying out a house using property corners and DXF line work.